Hello, hello, and welcome. I have a question about sales. I'm having weekly clicks from my landing page for my products, but once they get to Send Owl or whatever checkout page, um, they don't purchase. I've changed the price a bit from $4.99 to $5.99. Should I drop the price? Why are they never buying once they've clicked to buy? So I have this handy dandy little flow chart here that we're going to go through really quick about when it is or isn't time to drop the price. This is kind of, oops, that's not the right one. There we go. We're, gonna do, we're doing layers of post-its because my post-its aren't big enough to fit covering the whole page. Okay. So number one thing that you are going to do, number one thing that you are going to do is working on the actual checkout page itself. A lot of times the problems that we are talking about with like people aren't buying, it's not because of the product itself. It's not because of the price of the product. It's because of the checkout page itself. Um, sometimes the bare bones checkout pages, especially from Send Owl, like um, I still use Send Owl. I like Send Owl. However, their checkout pages are a little bit more difficult to customize than say like thrive card or something. Um, and so it is kind of more difficult, but all that to say, is it clear what they're buying on the checkout page? Um, in send Owl, one of the things that I dislike, especially is that the checkout page itself looks very, um, robotic. Like their default checkout page looks very much kind of questionable. It looks very sus. It looks kind of spammy if we're being completely honest, if you don't touch it at all, it does kind of look like is is this like a phishing scam? Is this a page that I shouldn't be on? Like what is happening here? And so if you don't change anything, that can become problematic. You know what I mean? So the number one thing that you're doing if somebody isn't buying is to look at your checkout page. Make sure that it is very clear what it is that they get. Make sure that they understand what it is that they're getting. Is it easy to use? Is it easy to read? Is it clear what they're getting? Is it clear on the product itself about describing a nice mix of the benefits of the product? So what they're actually going to get from it, um, the results that they're going to have from it, um, or uh, not or. And is it a nice mix of and it's 80 pages long and it's full color and it's a digital download. Is it clear as to what they're getting? Another thing, this is why this is number one, is to check the tech. That rhymes. I didn't mean for it to rhyme, but here we are. Check the tech. I cannot tell you how many times, and this still happens because Caroline is technologically challenged. Internally, I am like an 85-year-old. I swear there's times. But checking the tech, make sure that it's actually hooked up properly. A lot of times like you're going through it and you're like, okay, but what's wrong with this? Like people aren't actually clicking over to it or they're clicking, but they're not buying. So sometimes if we're looking at the analytics, if you're looking at like lead page analytics and it says, you know, 300 people showed up on the lead page, but zero people had, it has zero conversions because on lead pages, if you want um, somebody to click a button and count it as a conversion, you have to check a little box that says count as conversion. Um, so are people actually clicking to go over to the checkout page? Are they showing up on the right checkout page? Is this page looking um, like it's the right place to go to? Because you know, with Send Owl, they have three different button options that you can use. One of them is add to cart. One of them is add to cart. One of them is the checkout page itself. And then there's another one and I can't remember it, but I always do going to the checkout page itself inside of send owl. The reason being is add to cart. There's no place on that page to actually like see that it's a cart, like that you're loading things up inside of a cart, you know, like it's not like a Shopify store or like Amazon where there's the little cart icon in the top corner. If they move away from that page, Whatever they added to that cart is still there, but they have to go back to find it. It's a lot of, of work, essentially. And one of the things about these checkout pages is the easier it is for people to give you money, the easier it is for people to give you money. If the checkout process takes too long, if it's difficult, if it's more time consuming than it's worth, people will leave. 
It's just the way that it is. So making things super simple inside of the tech process of the checkout page is really going to be super, super beneficial in making sure that like right off the bat, if you are selling a product and you're like, why aren't people buying? Check the checkout page itself. Make sure, send it to a friend. Say like, would you buy this? What are your first thoughts? If you have um, your husband nearby, like, what do you think about this checkout page? Just not from a business side, just like take off the business hat. What do you think about this checkout page as a user? Would you buy this product? Do you think it's simple to buy this product? Having somebody else, because when we're too close to it, it like, it looks good to us. It's like, this is fine. This is great. But if we have somebody else who's not inside of our heads, who's not having been that close to it, if we have somebody else looking at it and they're like, I have no idea what I'm buying, red flag. How did I get to this page, red flag? What is this again, red flag? This page to me looks like blank, 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 negative details, negative details. It feels spammy. It feels scammy. It feels icky, whatever it is. That's a red flag. Um, oh, it wants me to sign up for X number of mailing lists at checkout. There's so many different processes that I have to go through. Red flag, those kinds of things. So if you are wondering if it's your checkout page, have somebody else go through it. And if it's not your husband, have a friend go through it, reach out to somebody and say, Hey, can you look at this? and see what they see through their eyes. And preferably if it's a normal person, because normal people are different than us business people. Like that sounds really like mean, but you know what I mean, right? Like a normal person would look at a checkout page and see it as a checkout page for a product. Whereas we as business people would look at the checkout page and start breaking it apart and overanalyzing every little detail and stuff. We just want to see ease of use. Does it make sense? Like normal kinds of things that people are looking for. So that's number one. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate you. And I hope that you have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Um, don't forget, if you have any questions, let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.